I'm Mike Quackenbush. This is Till We Make It. And do you need custom entrance music? When I first started my career in professional wrestling, as I walked to the ring, songs like Danger Zone by Kenny Loggins would play, or Break It Down Again by Tears for Fears. And you might be surprised to learn I don't own either of those songs. Those particular musical tracks, they might be owned by the artist, or they might be owned by the music label that contracted them to make those musical tracks, but I know this beyond a shadow of a doubt. When it comes to Danger Zone by Kenny Loggins and Break It Down Again by Tears for Fears, I have no ownership. So what would I need to do in this day and age if I wanted to be able to come out to Break It Down Again by Tears for Fears every single time I walk to the ring? Well, I would need multiple music licenses in order to do so. For the purpose of this example, let's say that you love a song by your favorite musical artist, and that's what you want as your entrance theme every single time you take to the stage. How could you go about making that real? The overall simplest solution to this problem, and one that I have personally used before, is to go to the Harry Fox Agency, and you can find them online at harryfox.com. The Harry Fox Agency represents a network of music licensing opportunities, and to make an account with them is absolutely free. All you need is an email address. Once you make your free account on harryfox.com, and by the way, they are not a sponsor of this video in any way, shape, or form, then you have access to their search function, where you can look up by artist, by album, by song title, sometimes even by snippets of lyrics to identify the song you want. And chances are there's one of two outcomes you're going to come across. One is the song you want as your entrance theme is available to be licensed, or it's not. So what would it mean if you went on harryfox.com, searched up what you were hoping would be your entrance theme, and it's not available through their agency? What this means is you may have to contact the artist directly. I can tell you from my experience dealing with this in the past, some artists will respond to you, and others just won't. If you are lucky enough to hear back from the musical artist in question, just be upfront with them. Explain to them exactly what you're hoping to use their song for. And you might be able to negotiate a license or simple rights so that you can, in fact, make your entrance to that song. But maybe you strike pay dirt. The first search on harryfox.com shows the exact song you are hoping would be your new entrance theme. Then what? If you find the song that you're looking for and it's available to license, you're going to see an estimated price right there of what the license for that song may cost you. But in addition to obtaining the rights for that song to play, there is a second kind of license you may need to concern yourself with. This second kind of license is called a sync license, S-Y-N-C, and that allows that song to be synced up with video of you making your entrance. So one license might be enough for your favorite song to be played as your entrance theme, but it is not enough for it also to be married to any video that goes out where the song plays and you appear. In my experience, obtaining these licenses is rarely inexpensive. So if this afternoon I made the decision that I want to come out to break it down again by Tears for Fears, and I searched on harryfox.com and found that the licenses I need are available, I would need to see whether or not I could afford the price and if there is any kind of residual or royalty associated with multiple plays. And what might that royalty or residual payment look like? It might say something like this. Every additional time on top of the license fee, I play that song, I pay an additional fee of tens or hundreds or even thousands of dollars to that musical artist, depending on what rate they set for their song. Not all songs are as commercially valuable as others. A song that has a particularly high profile or is a huge chart hit might be far more expensive than an obscure track or a b-side by a lesser known artist. If you're lucky enough to find the song that you're after and licenses are available such that you could make it your entrance theme, then you've got to make a decision. Is this an investment in my performance that I can afford to make? In my experience, major hits by top name artists can be cost prohibitive to obtain licenses for, especially for professional wrestlers. And if there's an additional royalty or residual attached to that sync license for every time that it plays, consider this. The song might play once on your way to the ring, and if you win, it plays a second time on your way back out. Think about how quickly all those fees can add up. If you succeed in obtaining the licenses you need to use that song as your entrance theme, 
Keep in mind licenses have a term, most commonly three years, meaning that after every three year term, you may renegotiate those rates and those rates can always go up. It's for this reason that so many professional wrestlers simply avoid commercially released music in favor of custom entrance themes. A custom entrance theme might be something that you perform yourself or a band or musical artist that you're friendly with crafts specifically to complement your character. Having a custom entrance theme that complements your character is not only a powerful marketing tool, but it also adds a certain amount of prestige and esteem to the performance. So if you're trying to decide between officially licensed music or a custom entrance theme for your character, that decision may come down to your investment. Getting the most identifiable hit by a major label act could end up costing you thousands of dollars in licenses. That overall investment is staggering compared to what you might pay to an independent artist or musician that you're friendly with to customize a track just for you. And if just hearing that makes you say, Mike, I don't know a band, I don't know a musical artist, and I've got no musical talent of my own, how on earth am I going to go about getting custom entrance music made? Well, there are a bunch of online resources ready to come to the rescue. Although they're not a video sponsor of ours, I don't mind mentioning Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. There you're going to find artists that will make graphics, music, videos, and just about everything else under the sun customized exactly how you need it. As the URL implies, gigs on Fiverr.com start at just five bucks. But if you want exclusive worldwide rights to do whatever you want with this custom entrance song, you may end up spending a little bit more than that. Even so, freelance websites like Fiverr.com offer a very reasonably priced alternative to going the route of trying to license commercially viable songs. So the answer to the question, do you need custom entrance music, might be no if you're able to get the licenses that you need on the song that you want and you're willing to pay the fees. But if you need a more economical solution or you want something custom made to fit your character, the answer could be yes. And if the answer is yes, but you don't know any musical artists to help you craft that custom entrance theme, there are all kinds of freelancing websites available through the magic of the internet to help make your custom entrance theme come to life. If this kind of information is right up your alley, there are just three things I need from you. A like, a subscribe, and for you to ring the bell and turn on those notifications for me. I'll keep on making videos, you keep on being awesome, and we'll keep on faking it.